former governor of Kogi State, Yahya Bello, uh, wanted on Thursday. The former governor was declared wanted in connection with the alleged case of money laundering to the tune of 80.2 billion naira. Let's talk this through by speaking with an APC chieftain, a lawyer, barrister Jesutega Onokwasa. Thank you so much for joining us. Who is joining us from Abuja Studio? It's good to have you on Standpoint. Thanks for having me. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm very good. Uh, so let me, let me start by asking you, uh, based on the issues going on in Kogi State, between the former governor of Kogi State, Yahya Bello, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the uh, EFCC uh, concerning the 80.2 billion naira allegation. You know, the former governor of Kogi State had been declared wanted by the Economic uh, Financial Crimes Commission uh, for evading arrest. But some Nigerians have said that if it has a restraining order that has not been vacated, uh, that uh, by higher courts, the EFCC had no right to carry out the operations of Wednesday and Thursday. What exactly do you make of this uh, developing story? Well, it, well it, it's not even some, merely some Nigerians uh, uh, who said uh, if he has a restraining order, the AFCC not, ought not to uh, arrest him. Yeah, as far as I'm even aware, I'm the first person to even raise that issue. If a person has a court order that says you ought not to arrest him, arraign him, or prosecute him, you have just one remedy for God's sake. You go to court. You, you can either go to that same court to vacate his order. If the court doesn't listen to you, you can go on appeal. But we cannot have a system where people thump their noses at a court of law. Assuming a wedge scenario, Biaya Bello is from Kogi State. Now, when you, when you are talking about arrest, you are talking about the liberty of a human being. So, automatically, you are talking about fundamental human rights. And when it comes to fundamental human rights, any court has jurisdiction. I heard one lawyer the other day saying that a state high court cannot uh, interfere into something of a federal agency. Is uh, Yaya Bello a, 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 a federal civil servant? Is he a, a, an employee of the federal government? He's a citizen of Kogi State. If his if his uh, human rights uh, uh, are, are about to be to, to, to be violated, which law says that a, the High Court of Kogi State cannot intervene? What they should cut his throat first before a court will uh, will will intervene? So the court, as far as I'm concerned, and I stand not to be corrected, every court has jurisdiction when it comes to fundamental human rights. Now, let's even uh, imagine an absurd scenario where, let's say, the customary court in Ore uh, Rokme, in Rokme local government, in, in Delta State, where uh, 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 former governor Yabelo does not even reside. If it had assumed jurisdiction, which to any lawyer would immediately seem as if this court is acting ultra, ultra virus. And then it has said, do, customary court, remember what I'm saying. And he said, don't arrest him. Who is EFCC? Who is uh, uh, Kemi Pinero to thump their noses at a, at a court? It's a court of law, for God's sake. If, you, if a court of law says, don't arrest somebody, you, nobody in the Federal Republic of Nigeria has a right to touch that person. You go to, this, to court and vacate the order. We are not a police state. We are not a, 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 a nation of barbarians, of, of, of lawless people. But looking Thank at um, the, the EFCC, you know, back in the day where they effected arrests, you know, uh, breaking into the homes of who, whoever they want to arrest, and we've seen that in the time past. Do you not feel that the EFCC is being, uh, some, you know, subtle in, in, his, in their bid to arrest the former governor of Kogi State? Do you not feel they are just being, you know, lenient no. in talking about this? We, we lenient, lenient at, uh, 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 to whom? Uh, um, uh, my brother, we have rights. Nobody's doing anybody any favor. You don't do, you, a policeman, a, a law enforcement, uh, whoever, the Attorney General of the Federation, our, our overall boss in, uh, uh, at, at the bar, he does nobody any favors by obeying the law. That's our right under the law, being lenient as hell. You mount, can you imagine the show of shame? They claim that uh, uh, Yaya Bello was uh, at home. Nobody has shown anybody any video of Yaya Bello being at home. Yaya Bello might not even have been at that premises at that material time. 
Then they came there. This, these are supposed to be EFCC operatives with their red uniform, our uniform. That is the official uniform of an agency of the state. Then you see some of them wearing bandana with skull. I mean, are you a thug? Are you one million boys, Awada boys? You are black acts or area of, for God's sake. You are an institution of the state. You are law enforcement. The motto of the EFCC is no one is above the law. Well, that starts with the EFCC itself. The EFCC, Oladi Peku Oluko Yede, my my learned friend, is not above the law. Neither is Kevin uh, 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 Pinero SAN. What is he saying? He's going to use army to, to do what? Who are you threatening with army? Can you imagine? They learn and seek. That is going not... to use army to do what? Is he, excuse me, is he admitting that the EFCC cannot apprehend a, 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 a suspect according to law that he's going to use army to, to be chasing? Who, who are all these people threatening? There is a procedure. Okay, you see, this is the problem with this EFCC. And I thought that with uh, Oluko Yade coming there, there will be some improvement. But he, he, in fact, he's, he's, he has proven to be a complete disappointment thus far. If he's not jailing a uh, uh, maphrodite, he or she is uh, arranging a bar, bar, bar man for, for spraying money. Spraying money. That one is, is what, is what de de destroyed Nigeria. Spray somebody's own property. Then the the the, the he she the cross dresser where went was misadvised to plead to, to, to plead guilty. What are you pleading guilty for? Challenge the law. It's your property, it's not your money. Challenge the, the validity of the law itself. Who are all these people? They just this is not how to enforce the law. Please. The man Yaya Bello had sorry, Yaya Bello had a valid court order that said he ought not to be arrested. And he, as a law abiding citizen, he is entitled to place reliance on that court order. And nobody ought to even go near his house or, until vacating that order. That's yeah. how the law works. Right, right. Uh, we'll take that, um, you know, your, your assessment of the, the current EFCC, especially the leadership of the EFCC, we'll take that as your own personal uh, reflective opinion. But then, uh, the Nigeria police force, uh, because the breaking news that we have here is saying that the Nigeria police force has detained a female police officer who served as the aide de corps to former Kogi State Governor Yahya Bello and also arrested alongside other police officers assigned to him and currently held at the state criminal investigation department in Abuja. Would you at this point in time advise uh, Mr. Yahya Bello to turn himself in, you know, at least for, for him to be Look, able to clear some... I am not beautiful. Now, I am not in contact with Yahya Bello, okay? Every lawyer in this world knows how the law works. And the law does not work by gangsterism. It doesn't work by, we, we, don't, we don't practice law. We don't enforce the law like a bunch of agberos at a motor park. If an institution is a creation of the law, then that institution, it behoves on that institution more than any other to follow the law. You can't just have a, a system where people uh, start try to create fear and intimidation on citizens. Who the hell are you intimidating? Who are you? You, you yourself, you are under the law. Okay? Now, who, what, whatever anybody uh, well, has been arrested, that person, has, that person is a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That person has rights. If you don't have evidence against the person, you are wasting your time. Uh, if you say, uh, I've been hearing another news that... Um, Yaya Bello was supposed to be in, uh, was apparently in, uh, in Kogi State when, when they were laying siege to. I mean, did, does the EFCC not have intelligence? You want to arrest Yaya Bello? Are you sure you are permitted in law to arrest him? If you are sure, you don't know how to arrest him, must you go and act a whole video, stage a uh, whole video in front of his house with, with, with uh, all kinds of people wearing a, a, a skull and a crossbones? So I, are you God. dismissing? Are you dismissing the report that the incumbent governor, Osman Ododo, uh, helped to help um, his, his former boss, uh, Yahya Bello, to evade the arrest of the Good CC. God. Like Good God. Here. There is no evidence of that. Now, the news report said that uh, uh, Governor Ododo drove into Yahya's house. One, I, don't, I have no evidence before me that Yahya was even in, that, uh, in the house. I don't have any evidence that Ododo well, well, you see, I'm a lawyer. I don't uh, deal in the realm of speculation. 
or sensationalism. I don't know whether Ododo went into his house. Even if, if assuming without considering that Ododo went, went into his house, Ododo has freedom of movement. Now, if you say that Ododo uh, uh, smuggled uh, is a, a predecessor from Trobia, do you have proof of that for God's sake? All these things is just rumor. Somebody just types a tweet. He says, I hand yourself over. Who told you Yaya Bello is even running away from the law? He had a court judgment. The court judgment said that he, he, he ought not. If I have, even me, I don't even need a court judgment. Me, I know law. So if you can't arrest me, you can't arrest me. I will see your time. Not to talk of when I have a valid court judgment. Why should I cooperate with you to disrespect the court? So all those ones, if they are within the realm of speculation. There is nobody has any evidence that Ododo even went there. Nobody has any, any evidence that Ododo then, that even Yaya Bello was there. Then Ododo now smuggled Yaya, I mean, what, what, what sort of nonsense is that? This thing is just a comedy of errors. Right, Barrister, Barrister um, uh, Onor Kwasa, you know, if you recall on Thursday, um, um, Governor Osman Ododo was supposed to be in Ondo State, although he's currently in Ondo State, uh, conducting the primary election for their party in the state ahead of the governorship yes, election. He but he wasn't there on Thursday. He was represented by the, uh, his deputy, who said that he couldn't make it at that point in time when he was made the chairman of the uh, primary, uh, that he wasn't there due to security situation, based on what the, the deputy said. said it was due to security challenge. Could you not... You know, is this not connected one way or the other to ensuring that it, it is, um, Mr. Bello uh, wasn't, wasn't arrested or wasn't picked up by the EFCC? Yes. yes. You know, you, know you, are, you are not talking as a journalist. To me, eh, that is neither here nor there. Because if, if for instance, you were saying this in the court of law, I'm sorry, with all due respect, it will be flushed down the toilet. Nobody's going to take it seriously. It's just speculative. If he is in charge of a state, eh? Governor Usman Ududo is in charge of a state that is bigger than the whole of the Southeast. If I was his lawyer, I'm not his lawyer. I'm not even only brief for him. If I was his lawyer, and then he, he had his deputy said he had the, if, uh, due to security reasons, he has this huge state to administer. The, the security reason could have anything to do with anywhere in his in the state, a state that is bigger than an entire uh, 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 one of our six geo, geo, geopolitical zones. What does he have to do with Yaya Bello? You see, let me just tell you what, what is happening to, to in, in this matter. Some people just feel that uh, me, even this, this 80 billion, I don't know where Oluko Ede and his people got this. This, 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 this hello? Billion. Yeah, I'm just trying Beautiful. to give you the 80.2 billion. Yeah got that utter nonsense from because I don't know how rich Kogi State is that Yaya Bello would have within in fact the way the narrative is is as if within a few months of even becoming governor he had, he had succeeded in removing 80 billion. I don't know what is the budget of, uh, of, of, of Kogi State. I know that my own state Delta is far far richer than, than Kogi State. Delta is probably the richest state as per allocation. In, in, then add by the time you add uh, 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 13 percent, you add this. Uh, it is only in IGRO that a state like Lagos would top it, or maybe Rivers too. But if it is Kogi State, me, I don't see where uh, anybody is going to see 80, 80 billion to remove from, uh, from 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 Kogi State. Now that is really immaterial. If somebody has actually, we are not condoning corruption. Somebody has actually stolen money. We should retrieve the money from him back to the good people of Kogi State. However, we will do it according to law. We are not going to break the law. Nobody is going to start intimidating anybody, saying you're going to use army to, 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 to chase who. I mean, shame on you. What are you saying? You are a senior lawyer. Right. Uh, so just, uh, well, let me just bring you uh, just uh, an excerpt of a report uh, which says hundreds of human rights activists on Saturday hit the streets of uh, Lagos to condemn what they described as the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission's anti-democratic approaches to issues of law enforcement, as well as unjust application of state power by the federal government in, in as regards the uh, arrest which they try to effect of the former governor of um, uh, Kogi State. But in your own final thoughts, your own final submission, how would you advise you know, the EFCC to go about this, as well as the former governor of Kogi State, um, Yahya Bello, you know, in order to ensure that this issue is, you know, you know, is brought to uh, a full stop. Because if you say it is a witch hunt, 
He, was, he is a member of the APC, and the incumbent party, the ruling party in Nigeria, is APC. That could it probably have been a witch hunt, do you think? Well, I don't know. Now, what I know is that Yaya Bello is a member of my party. And me, I don't use and dumb people. Anybody that helped my president, President Bola Tinubu, to win election, and we won our election hands down, is my brother. Yaya Bello helped. Yaya, I, as, as well known as I am, as an Ashibaji supporter, I will still yield a certain stage to Yaya Bello because Yaya Bello contributed more to uh, Ashibaji's win as far as I'm concerned. That's the politics of it. When it comes to the law, I really don't have any advice for EFCC. I don't have their time. They are just, I don't know what the hell they think they are doing there. They are, they, they, but they will learn their lessons. Is it not Mohamed Adoke that was discharged and acquitted the other day? This guy just make noise. Instead of them to concentrate, investigate a case, do something proper, they think they can intimidate people and start talking utter nonsense. They don't know, they, 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 as if everybody will just start running. Who, who, who are you? What law do you know? Now sit down. Now, if it's Yaya, all, all the only advice I have for, for Yaya is obey the law. If you have a court judgment and the court judgment says nobody should arrest you, whoever wants to arrest you, let that person go and vacate the order. Nobody should disrespect our, 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 right. our judiciary. That's all. all. I, I, I don't have any evidence. I'm not going to start in putting uh, Yaya Bello's integrity as, and, and uh, assume that it's running away. People just spin these narratives. Who even said Yaya Bello was running away from anybody? Did any, anybody see him running? The man had a court judgment for God's sake. If somebody has a whole court of law. He says, don't arrest me. Am I not entitled to, to rely on that judgment? Then Oluko, is Oluko a, a, a court of law? Is Kevin Pinero a court of law? What's wrong with these people? Your, your point is made. It, it's, very, it's very instructive to know that uh, the EFCC is not about one person. It's an agency of government which would definitely always want to you know, carry out its duties and responsibilities. Yes, but the place is really, really, really messed up. It's really messed right, up. Right. And it should be rocked, rocked up from top to bottom. Oya Barrister Jesutega Onopasa, APC Chieftain, thank you so much uh, for your time. On, thanks on thanks for having me, my brother. Thanks for having me. And thank you to our audience for your company. That's Standpoint this week. Remember, you can watch the repeat broadcast at 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. on Sunday morning. Thanks for watching. I'm Ibrahim Shita. Bye for now.